So there's this new decentralized exchange that literally pays you to swap your Solana tokens. And it's not just chump change. I've made nearly $100 in just a couple of days simply swapping tokens on Solana. So in this video, I'm going to show you what exchange this is and how you can use it to earn money while you swap. So I've been using this exchange for nearly one year now. It's just shy of its first year anniversary. And in that time, I've earned literally thousands of dollars worth of rewards simply swapping tokens and using the platform. In fact, the platform itself has distributed more than $28 million worth of rewards to its 30,000 plus users. And this is all before they even introduced this Solana reward system that I'm going to show you in this video. The exchange that I'm talking about is called Pondex. You've probably heard me mention it before on this channel if you've been subscribed for a while. And it is my go-to decentralized exchange, not only because of all the rewards that I'm earning, but because it's one of the only decentralized exchanges that I'm aware of where you can swap both Ethereum and Solana tokens on the same platform. Before Pondex, I was mainly using Uniswap and PancakeSwap to swap my Ethereum tokens. And then more recently, I was using Radium and Jupiter to swap all my Solana tokens. But since Pondex actually offers some of the best fees, so they offer cheaper fees than Uniswap for swapping Ethereum, and then they offer the same or maybe slightly better fees when swapping your Solana tokens, I pretty much only use Pondex. Plus the user interface is just a lot more fun to look at and interact with compared to its competitors, which are kind of boring. So the link to start swapping Solana tokens and earning rewards using this decentralized exchange is in the description of this video. And don't worry, it's not like a centralized exchange like Coinbase where you have to go through KYC and provide a bunch of personal information. It's a decentralized exchange. There's nothing that you have to provide to use it. You just have to connect your wallet and you're good to go. Also, there are a lot of scam sites out there. So make sure when you use the link that you bookmark it in your browser, that way you know you're visiting the correct website every single time. Plus after you watch this video and understand how Pondex works, you're probably never going to use any other decentralized exchange except this one. So you may as well just bookmark it. And this is just good practice for any website that you're visiting, but especially any crypto website because these scammers, they mimic your URLs. So they basically just change like one letter, hoping that you enter the wrong URL and land on their malicious website. So it's worth bookmarking any site that you're visiting often. All right. So how does Pondex work to swap crypto? Well, it works like any other exchange that you've probably used, whether that's Uniswap or Jupiter or Radium or whatever it may be. Uh, but it has a few features that make it even better. All right. So when you open up that link, you're going to land on the Solana swap page. Now this looks like any other DEX. If you've used a DEX, it's pretty much the same thing. You're going to want to connect your wallet. Um, but there are some other features that I'm going to show you. Of course, you have your standard features. If you tap this button here where you can change your transaction speed, normal, high and turbo. And then of course you can adjust your slippage settings, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 1% and custom if you need to do that. Um, you really only need to adjust your slippage if your transaction keeps failing, then you are going to want to try to increase your slippage. But I always start with a 0.3% slippage. And something else that's really cool that no other decentralized exchange that I'm aware of has, if you toggle this button right here, is an integrated DEX tools chart. So you can actually see uh, a live chart of whatever tokens that you're trying to trade. That way you don't have to have a bunch of windows open. You can just view everything here on the DEX. Um, and you know, everything you can do on Dex tools, you can also do right here because again, it's directly integrated to the Pondex platform. All right, so once you connect your wallet, you can use this Dex just like any other Dex. If you wanna change what tokens you're swapping to, you could just click on one and then you can either search for it or you could paste the tokens contract address. So let's say I wanted to swap for dog whiff and then I could swap soul for dog whiff or vice versa by just tapping this arrow but how do you know which token you're going to be rewarded and where do these rewards come from? Well, to figure that out, we just need to go to the leaderboard, which is right here. Go ahead and tap view leaderboard. And whatever is the first coin ranked number one on the top of the leaderboard, that is what you're going to be rewarded if you win a reward for swapping. So as you can see right here, Pepe is the current number one leader. So let's say I did swap some Solana for Dog Whiff and I was selected to win a reward. I'd be airdropped Pepe instantly into my wallet. There's nothing that you have to do. There's no claim button or anything. If you win, it'll be airdropped into your wallet, usually within a few minutes, it's almost instant. But how do these tokens get on the leaderboard and how are they ranked? Because, because as, as you can, can see here, here there's almost $9,000 worth of tokens that are waiting to be rewarded, rewarded to users who are just simply swapping their Solana tokens. There's $8,000 worth of Pepe. There's $500 worth of Billy. Uh, about $400 worth of Pepe with hat. And really how all these tokens get there is that people, users of Pondex 
are literally donating tokens to the platform and the token, token with, with the, the highest dollar, dollar amount, so, so this one has 8K, is, is going to be ranked, ranked number one. one. It's the king of the leaderboard. leaderboard. And, and whichever token is ranked number one is what people are going to be rewarded if they win a reward when they swap their crypto. crypto. And, then and then you do, you do have these runner-ups. Runner uh, so, so let's say the leaderboard, leaderboard runs out of Pepe. Pepe. The next runner-up is going to be Billy. So then people would start earning Billy rewards. So the tokens that you could potentially win do change. So it's definitely worth keeping an eye on the leaderboard. That way you know what to expect if you do win a reward but you're probably wondering well what am i supposed to do with these tokens if i do win do i hold them do i swap them um, and i'm going to tell you exactly what i do personally in just a bit but first let's look at why someone would even want to donate their tokens to the rewards pool in the first place because after all you're literally giving away your crypto and you're never going to get it back. So this is where Pondex gets a little bit gamified and it's actually pretty dang cool. The first incentive is that if you add a token to the pool, it will gain recognition on the leaderboard. So theoretically, if someone sees a token pop up on the leaderboard, it could increase its awareness and people could start buying it. Of course, there's no guarantee that this will happen, but there have been plenty of tokens that I've never seen that have ended up on the leaderboard and uh, a lot of people start buying it just because they didn't know about it and now they do. But what if you don't care about giving a token recognition? Then why would you add a token to the pool? Well, that's where this second incentive comes in, which is anytime you add a token to the pool, so anytime you donate your crypto so that other users can win it, you're actually increasing your odds of winning a reward when you swap. So if you do wanna add your tokens to the pool and increase your odds of winning or get some token recognition, just make sure your wallet's connected, then go ahead and tap connect pump.fun and then any tokens you have in your wallet will pop up right here. I have this token called YouTube. It's not related to YouTube at all. Uh, it's currently worth $0, but I have 150,000 tokens. So I would hit the add button and then you can either type in the amount uh, that you want to add or you can choose these pre-selected percentages. So if I did 100%, I would be sending all of my YouTube tokens to the pool, which could potentially be rewarded if it took number one on the leaderboard. Um, so let's say I wanna do that. I go ahead, tap add, and then all you have to do is confirm the transaction. Unfortunately, I don't have any tokens in, or I don't have any Solana in this wallet, so I'm not going to be able to confirm the transaction. Um, but if I did, you just hit confirm anyway, and you would be sending tokens to the pool. Of course, you don't have to add any tokens to the pool to use Pondex or to even win rewards. I've won three rewards without ever adding anything to the pool. And you're probably wondering, well, how do you win these rewards? And again, what do you do when you win them? I found that there are really two ways you can take advantage of this reward system. The first method is my preferred method because there is little to no risk. And the second method I like to call the casino method because it's like playing the slot machines in Vegas. And the more you play, the more you could potentially earn but you could also lose some money. And the cool thing about this is because everyone is winning in real time and everything is recorded on chain, you can actually click on this winners tab here and you can see everyone who is winning rewards right now. Uh, there'll be a, a time here. So this was two minutes ago, four minutes ago. And you can actually take it a step further if you tap on any of these transactions, um, you can view these wallet strategies that they're using to win rewards. So let's take this top one, for example, and it's going to take you to SoulScan, which is Solana's blockchain explorer. It's kind of like the search engine for Solana. And what you want to do is go down here where you see the transfer, where it says transfer from WWL. This is the Pondex Solana rewards wallet. And it transferred it to this wallet, which is the person who won the rewards. So if we tap on this wallet, it's going to take us to uh, whoever this is, to their wallet, and then we can go to DeFi activities. And this is going to show us literally everything that they, they do with this wallet. So here we can see that they've been swapping uh, quite a bit, not, you know, not a ton, uh, but every couple minutes they are doing swaps. And they're probably doing this to increase their odds of winning a reward. Now, if we go over here to transfers, we can actually see any time they want a reward. Again, we're looking for this address ending in WWL. That is the Pondex Rewards wallet. And look, just two minutes ago, looks like they won twice. Uh, 2,100 Pepe, 2,200 Pepe. And I'm sure if we go to the next page, I'm sure they have multiple wins. Here's another one right here for 1,900 uh, Pepe. And then even another one down here for 2,000 Pepe. So 
yeah, this guy is winning pretty often because he is swapping often. To be fair, I didn't actually start with method number one, my preferred method, just casually swapping to earn rewards. I used something much closer to method two where I got a little bit more tactical. I felt like I couldn't make this video before I won some rewards for myself. So I did some test transactions. I did 25 transactions before I won my first reward. And I know it sounds like a lot of transactions, but on Solana, it's really not too much because each Solana transaction only costs about three cents. So three times 25 transactions was about 75 cents total that I spent on these 25 swaps. So how much was my first reward? You're gonna wanna sit down for this one because uh, it was pretty insane. So I spent a total of 75 cents swapping and I won 722 Pepe that was airdropped directly to my wallet, which at the time was about $4 worth of Pepe. I know that's not a lot of money, but honestly, I thought I had found an infinite money glitch. If I could just do a bunch of swaps and always earn more than what it cost me to swap, that would be an infinite money glitch. Unfortunately, there was one other thing that I forgot to factor in that actually affects how much money I'm making when I'm swapping crypto, and that is price impact, which happens anytime you swap crypto. And price impact is a change in a token's price caused directly by your trade. For example, if I sell $100 worth of Pepe for $100 worth of Sol, well, it affects the price of Pepe because I'm selling it. Um, it usually goes down in price. So I'm not actually receiving $100 worth of soul. As far as price impact goes, it really just depends what token you're swapping. Uh, for me, when I was swapping Pepe to Solana and Solana to Pepe, it wasn't huge as like 0.2 or 0.6% price impact. So basically every trade that I was making, I was losing about $1 on that trade. Initially for those first 25 transactions, I was only swapping like 30 to $50 worth of crypto. So as you can imagine, after 25 swaps, I lost about $25 to price impact. But again, this happened because I was treating the reward system like a lottery machine. I was gambling. I was trying to do as many swaps as I could to try to earn the biggest reward. Unfortunately, I didn't hit the jackpot. I hit more of a jack cup, which actually sounds really weird now that I say it out loud. Uh, but basically I didn't earn a lot like I had expected, but that's just the risk you take when you gamble. And that's why I prefer method number one, where you just casually swap your Solana tokens. And when you're lucky, you'll earn a reward. You're not too worried about price impact because price impact is just the price you pay whenever you swap a token on Solana. Over the next couple of days, I continued swapping for a total of 37 swaps. Um, I lost about $50 to price impact and then another dollar just for Solana transaction fees, totaling about $51. But over that time, over those 37 swaps, I hit three different reward jackpots or jack cups, uh, probably will never use that word again, uh, which totaled um, a little over $70. I think it was like $75. So basically I earned 24, $25 for transacting 37 times. And then a couple days later, I did a few more swaps and hit another jackpot for $21. I've also been studying several winning wallets and they all follow a similar method or tactic, which is swapping back and forth, literally like minute after minute, as many times as they can. And more often than not, they're actually winning more rewards than they are spending swapping, even when you include the price impact. But let me be clear, you do not have to swap this way. You could get luckier than me. You could do, you know, a few swaps just casually and hit the jackpot and earn 10, 20, 30, $40 in rewards, whatever it may be. Um, you don't have to gamble if you don't want to. If you just want to use Pondex to casually swap your Solana tokens and win some rewards, you can play it that way. That said, it looks like a lot of users actually prefer method number two, which again, I call the casino method, which is more strategic. They're doing things to increase their odds of winning and increase the amount of rewards that they're winning. Now, a lot of people have won literally thousands of dollars swapping back and forth, swapping a lot, swapping more. Uh, with the top users, the most aggressive swappers have won well over $50,000. And this reward system has been live for like a week at the time of recording this video. When I first saw that people were winning thousands of dollars in rewards in just a day or a couple of days, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty suspicious. And that's why I took a lot of time uh, to make this video, doing research, testing it out myself, talking to other people who are using the platform. Um, and then I came to realize that it's not just luck. There's a lot of strategy that goes into winning more rewards, bigger rewards more often. And these strategies were actually shared by one of the project's developers. So it's not like I'm just making them up. If you use these strategies, you are guaranteed, well, I won't say guaranteed, but you are definitely more likely to increase your odds of winning as well as how much you win. The first strategy is simple. The bigger your swap is, the bigger your reward could be. So if you're just swapping a little bit 
of crypto here and there, you shouldn't expect a big reward compared to someone who is swapping a crap ton of crypto. They're likely going to get a bigger reward. And I found this to be true in my own testing. When I was doing those 30 to $50 uh, transactions, I got that $4 reward versus when I did a $700 swap and I won a $70 reward. And then later I also won a $1 reward because I was swapping like $10 of crypto. Now, another strategy, which is more of a community strategy, I guess, is the more swaps there are in a one hour window, the bigger the multiplier is. So there are actually multipliers in the reward system with a maximum of a 10X multiplier. So the more people that are swapping in that one hour window, the bigger the multiplier is. So I found that the best time to swap usually is midday uh, on the weekdays or like when people are getting off work because that's when the platform is most active. So if you see the leaderboard going crazy and there's a bunch of new transactions popping up, that's going to be a good time to swap to increase your odds and potentially how much you win. Again, you can tell when things are super active just by looking at the leaderboard and then going to the winners tab. And when you see that pending winning, that is when you wanna swap. You can swap back and forth and the more you swap back and forth, the more likely you are to win a reward during that time. Another strategy mentioned by the developer is that it pays to have the top reward in your wallet. So let's say Pepe is number one on the leaderboard. It's going to pay to have Pepe in my wallet. Now, I don't know exactly what that means. I don't know if it increases your odds of winning or you earn more. Um, it was just kind of casually shared in a tweet by the developer and I don't know if it's only the number one token or maybe it's the top three. Um, I would assume it's the number one token, but regardless, having that top token in your wallet will help you in one way or another. And don't forget that adding your tokens to the reward pool also increases your odds of winning a reward when you swap. So the more you add, the more likely you are to win. Again, there's no guarantee. And also remember, you do not get those tokens back. If you donate them to the rewards pool, that's it. Uh, you are increasing your odds, but you do lose those tokens. There's also this awesome thing called a mega win, which is dished out to one random user every 15 minutes, 24 seven. And all you have to do to be eligible to win a mega win is to swap a Solana token on Pondex. The Pondex team also shared some interesting data regarding the mega wins and kind of how it works. So it says when big players win with larger swaps, mega rewards tend to favor users making smaller transactions. However, when smaller swap amounts dominate the rewards, users engaging in larger transactions have a better chance at grabbing the mega rewards. And this seems to be uh, a way to try to keep things fair. So let's recap. If you want to increase your odds of winning and the amount that you could potentially earn, you want to swap big, swap often, swap when everyone else is swapping, hold the top token while you're swapping and add tokens to the rewards pool. And of course you get to choose how to use these tactics. You don't have to use them all. You could just try one or two, or if you would just wanna go all in, then you could try all the tactics. Uh, but again, it's up to you how you wanna play the game. But remember, the more you swap, the more you're going to be affected by price impact. So you just need to take that into consideration when swapping, there's no guarantee that you will win. However, more often than not, I found that if you swap enough, you're going to win a reward eventually. And again, with the more casual method number one, when you're just swapping casually, you're not really worried about price impact, you're just going with the flow. And if you win a reward, awesome because there's no other exchange that's offering that. Now, as far as what I've been doing with the tokens that I've been winning, uh, personally, I've been keeping them, but I'm not saying that's what you should do with your tokens. It really just depends. Um, a lot of the tokens that rise to the top of the leaderboard so that are rewarded to the users are extremely volatile. Uh, and this could be a good or a bad thing. For example, say you win $50 worth of Pepe and you're holding onto that Pepe and it happens to 3X. Well, now your $50 is worth $150 but it could also go the other direction and your $50 could turn into $5. So it's a risk you take. So if you're not bullish on the token you receive as a reward, then you should probably swap it for another Solana token that you're bullish on or something more stable like USDC or even Solana. But of course, this is your choice. It's your money, so you do whatever you want with it. Okay, so this whole rewards thing is really awesome. I mean, there's no one else that's doing it like this. And when that reward hits your wallet, because again, it's like, it's just airdrop your wallet. It truly does feel like you won the lottery. You kind of get like that dopamine rush, uh, which can be dangerous. It can be addicting. So definitely watch out for that.
but it gets even better because there's another opportunity to earn even more rewards without swapping crypto. Um, so if you have friends or family that are in a crypto, Pondex actually offers a referral link that you can share with them. This is a game changer because it allows you to build a network and earn rewards passively. So when you share that code and someone uses it, you actually earn a portion of their rewards. For example, say you share your referral code with Jeff and then Jeff hits the jackpot, earns a reward. A portion of his reward is going to be airdropped directly to your wallet, but it doesn't stop there. Now let's say Jeff shares his referral code and Matt uses it and then Matt earns a reward. Well now Matt and Jeff, a portion of the rewards will be airdropped to your wallet whenever they win. This is just insane. I don't think it's ever been done in crypto, at least not in a decentralized manner like this is. So um, yeah, you should definitely take advantage of it. So assuming you're swapping Solana tokens on PondX and sharing your referral code, you're more than likely going to win not just one reward, but probably multiple rewards. So I don't know, just keep using Pondex and good things will probably happen. Um, I mean, before Pondex, you're probably just using one of the other decentralized exchanges and hopefully earning money because you're making good trades. But now at least if you're making, you know, crappy trades, you can still earn money from these rewards. That said, you can make all the money you want in crypto, but if you're still storing your winnings in a hot wallet like Phantom, you may as well give all your crypto away because hot wallets are, well, they're hot trash. Uh, you should be using a cold wallet to store any of your crypto if you're serious about keeping it safe. In this next video, I share a few of my favorite cold wallets all under $100 that will protect your Solana tokens and whatever other tokens you hold. So definitely check that out. I'll see you there. Peace.